but he lifts his leg really high. Again, flexibility it is impressive. Um, but you're exposing an area of the body that is not quite, shall we say, well armored. Yes. Oh, what a tease Pippin is. Alright, here we are, day three of the Professional Amiibo League, marking the first trimester of the League. I always love how my green screen mug looks on screen. I know I'm normally supposed to be talking about the matchups that are coming up, but I just, this is so much fun. Look at this. I saw it at like the dollar store or whatever, and just sort of passed by lime green mug. I'm just like, hmm, how much is that? Two dollars, you say? Yeah, I think these kinds of shenanigans are worth two dollars. Let's stop delaying and get to what people actually care about. Not green screen mugs, even though, look, again, this is really cool. No, let's get to the matches. Roll the clips. Representing Xenobi, Pole Pole versus Magic's Ganon Indeed. Ouch, yes. Should have probably grabbed the ledge there, Polpo. That was a that was a mistake. And counter mistake. And the perfect shield into down tilt. Dead. That might get the kill. Yep. There we go. $22, I wanna say, to the the eighth trophy Evo. Okay, this is um, this is normal. This is normal behavior. Sure. Headbutt. Here we go. It's over. And the winner is Zenobi's Pole Pole. Here we go. Game two. Representing Deeb's McDonald's versus Mobu Mobu's Owen. Ooh, good use of the super armor. Oh, ho, ho. McDonald's had the right idea there, going for the gimp. Ooh. There we go. Game one to Owain. Oh dear, Laz Lover. Oh, McDonald's. I love it. Do 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 do. I'm loving it. Donald's going for the finish. Did not quite land it. And he will never get a chance because McDonald's is closed. And the winner is Moku Moku's Owen. Representing Trinity EXE, Verlo versus the Splice Climbers, Diet Dr. Pepper. There we go. That'll get you a kill. All right, hammers up. Hammers up. Oh, that's a good response. Hammers, a little hammers, you know, mid middling hammers. 
middling hammers. Fair. We are not in a comfortable position, but we still get the victory. Hammers up! Hammers up! Game two. No, we're alive. We're alive. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Oh, we whiffed. It's horrible. Everything's awful. It is a cloudy day. Why do you keep going to recover this? Chair. Dead. Okay. Oh, things are going south. Things are going south fast. But with the chair, we can prevail! I knew the chair would eventually come through. And the winner is the Splice Climber community. Although she ends it with an unfortunate Hail Fittler pose. Representing Smitty W, the Shrike versus Spikes, not vegans. Ouch. Oh. I said it again. I said ouch instead of ouch. It's not looking good for not vegans. Avoided the shrug. Not sure why he's going with that. It seemed like a poor decision. Spike, though, he's trained a plant that likes to use a lot more of the uh, Patui. And I'm wondering if that helps him in different matchups, but hurts him versus Ridley. We're on round four. Ouch! The Shrike was dominant in a matchup that should not have favored it. And the winner is, by a shutout, the Shrike. Representing Zeno, Mir. Versus Mides and Simple. Needs to get a kill here. Could take a game. Unless they're going to let that hit. Ouch. And Incineroar now dead. It was close. It was close. Not looking good for Incineroar. Yes, and Incineroar getting murdered by missiles. And the winner is Xenos Nier. Representing Rice Boy Pagool versus Blake's Galleon. Least you think I only make short jokes about my cousin. No. Ouch, good drop kick by Bagool. And that's the first time Galleon has lost a life. Oh dear. Whee! That sound effect is so silly. The slide whistle. Not looking good for Bagul. Galleon has turned things around. Ouch, the clap. Clap's enough. Clap, okay. Galleon in the lead. Ouch. And there it is. The punch to the face. And the winner is, representing Blank, Galleon. Representing Lunasar, Enigma, versus Goliath, Ish. Oh my goodness, jeez. He cannot get back to the stage. Ish just abused him. All right, times it correctly to get back up to the stage. Gets a kill. But Nigma is going to need one heck of a gimp. Dead. Right? No, man. There we go. He just wanted to end it with a Gordo. I see. Now, Rid Ridley definitely is. Oh, oh, dear. Not looking good for Nigma. Nigma's back is to the wall. The Penguin, fiercely guarding his territory. This is the Riddler here. And. The Riddler now just trying to shug him, shrug, shug him off? I don't think shug is a word. Someone look up and find out if shug is a word. Oh, not quite. Or it might be. Oh, but he saved him! Oh dear, Nigma. Okay, didn't save him a second time. Interesting that it didn't let him do be up again, but it worked out. Nigma now in the driver's position. Nigma suddenly has confidence. A lot of confidence. Maybe too much confidence. Oh, and Ish is now back in this. 
Ridley in kill range, is that enough for the kill? It is! Yes, it is! Look who's got a comeback! Okay, come on. No, voice. Oh, don't reboot. Dang it. You're killing the moment. And the winner is... Lunasar's Enigma. Representing JT Gill 115 Ezio versus Armored Sages Apprentice. Ouch. Apprentice needs to pick it up a little bit. The footstool's a good start. Oh my goodness. Unnecessary, Apprentice. I think Link's going to take that personally. You didn't need to rub it in that you footstooled him with the Wiz Dominator. Maybe that's her goal, though. Maybe... Oh, that was a bad goal. Ouch. Oh, the Wiz Dominator! But Apprentice is 100 damage down. Yep, and that'll... Well, that went uh, rather quickly, didn't it? And the winner is... JTQ 115's Ezio. Representing Clockwork, Bright Eyes versus Jester's Cadbury. So Bright Eyes has not been playing well. And definitely needs a victory here. Turn this around. Okay, lives he or never mind, lives aren't he. He's down to life again. Bright Eyes, what happened to you? There we go. Okay, dodging well. Ooh, dodging well. Okay, this is a weird dance that they're doing. There we go. Okay, getting his kicks in. Enough, oh, not quite enough for the kill. Trying to nail... Oh, there we go. Tail flick. They have the same design. There we go. Bright Eyes is back. Bright Eyes is back. And the winner is Clockworks. Bright Eyes. Representing Cloud Sensei Super NES versus Heartless's Gadget. Interesting use of, of the dare. Is that enough for the kill? It is. Oh, dear. The PK Thunder Juggle. He dealt no damage, got sent to space. Okay, get the grab. Ooh, couldn't quite land the air shooter. Good shield, dead. Dead. Oof. There we go. Still not looking good for Gadget at the same time. If you can get a Ness off stage, sometimes you can get a bullcrap kill, but Ness is keeping him where he wants him. Interesting that in this matchup, both want to be above the other one, but it's over. It is over. And the winner is Cloud Sensei's Super NES. Representing Sonrek, Hero of Rhyme, versus Burr's Pippin. Out Lloyd Rocket, all right. Pippin takes the lead. He dead? Yes, he dead. Good work by Pippin. Shuts him out in game one. Good interception, though, by Hero of Rhyme. I don't think you have enough... Uh, you only have ten letters. Isn't that too many? There we go. And we're going to game three. There we go. Oh, no. I thought that'd be over. Hero of Rhyme dominating... There we go. Weird. That was a weird set. And the winner is... Sonrex, Hero of Rhyme. Representing... Splice, a reply! Versus Ices, Campbell. More pumping. 
30, 31, 32. Orsuros, thank you for that reply. A roll is a heavy with incredible recovery. And can body check you into one county to the right. All right, is that enough? Yes! No, why won't he die? Yes, thank you! Finally, get this thing killed! I am encouraged he hasn't been doing the grenade thing as much this match. He hasn't been doing the grenade thing as much. On cue. On stinking cue! Why do I open up my mouth? Lost Lover, I don't want you noticing that these are good cuts for you two. That needs to stop. Also ignore the fact that that's literally your job. The ledge. That would be a great ledge. Don't get hit. I gave you a reflector. Why won't you use it? There we go. Okay, it only costs us 15 damage. We're still in this. Dead? No! Why are you alive? Finish him off! Why, Grenade? Oh, dang it. Had he stayed in the air long enough? Why? And the winner is Icy's Camp. Representing Moxie Vegas, Jubilee versus Fammy to Mammies. Here with me now. Ah! Oh! Almost got an early cheeky meteor. Odds makers really don't like Oz's chances here. Put a 70% Oz. Oh, and there we go. Wiz Dominator. Well, looks like the odds makers were definitely correct on this one. And the winner is Moxie Vegas's Jubilee. All right, representing the defending champion sci-fi, Parfait, versus Leafs, the hero. Okay. <laughs> that can get you, no, he's dead. I mean, look, it was an exciting finish, but, uh... And the hero is just letting him know it. Jeez Louise, did he deal like 70 damage in that barrage? Dead. Back throw on Ness is so stupid strong. It's so good and always has been. And the winner is Leafs, the hero. This could be brutal. Representing Farming Sim, Bahamut versus Papa Page's AirPod. Oh, I thought. Oh, the footstool by Bahamut. That is not how you want to start. With Ridley literally stepping on your head, like Luigi in the uh, melee cinematic, if you ended the first level in adventure on the six second mark. Yeah, my brain has has saved space for that information. It saved space for things I needed during my chem final? Heck no. Gotta remember how to trigger Luigi in Melee's adventure mode. Uh, Laws Lover, if you could just add in a little, uh, like that cinematic so people know what I'm talking about. Maybe add it in I don't know, right about here, maybe? I don't know. Bro. Well, that was unnecessarily brutal. Bahama is getting absolutely brutal with these. He does not need to style like that. Okay. Now well, why not? It's working. And the winner is Farming Sims 
Bahamut. Representing competitively, Punishment versus Ventro, Flare Up. No, okay, yeah, the missile to the crotch will definitely disincentivize you to do that. Ouch. Life one taken by Flara, but she's at pretty high damage herself. Ouch. Far away. Good perfect shield. And he's off to space. Game one to Flara, but competitively he's Ganon. Made it more interesting than I anticipated, that's for sure. He's barely avoiding all her projectiles. That's one way to do it! Holy cow! Why are you taunting? You're so close to dying. Focus on dealing damage, not getting in your opponent's head. But so can she. And that is the way the cookie crumbles. And the winner is Ventro's Flare Up! Representing Luckman, Dark Link. Versus Just Brian's Just K. Rule. Just K. Rule just going for the kill and gets it. Oh no, he saved him! Just K. Rule had him! No. There we go. Link again. Dishing out pretty good damage. There we go, and getting the first kill yet again. Oh, wow. I thought he'd be able to come back from that. Okay. Lives even, damage even. Up air is pretty strong. Ooh, barely. Oh! Oh my goodness! Saves himself with the bomb and then finishes it with the up smash. Very flashy. And the winner is Dark Link. Representing Shy Guy 2.0, Cruel versus Sir Fuzzy Logic's Dan DeVito. Can't quite land that meteor though, thanks to the helicopter blade. Dead? There we go. Not gonna lie, I kind of miss his old recovery, where he used his Pikmin as a chain. I think it was cooler. Both are having issues getting the kill. There we go. Hard to believe that there was a time when Olimar was by far, like not even close, the most overpowered amiibo. Ouch. And again, amiibo have trouble with slowly moving cannonballs. And the winner is Shy Guy 2.0's Cruel. Representing Dreamy J, Mr. Mallet versus RC's Elite Smash. There's only one thing you can do that shows more dominance than eating your opponent, and that's T-Pose. Clearly T-Posing is the ultimate form of showing dominance. Really? Treading a dangerous line here. There we go, finally pays the price. Simple odds maker is not, oh my goodness! Styles! Not looking good at all for Elite Smash. Yeah, there we go. Oh man. Mr. Mallet read him like a book. Not enough for the kill. There we go. Well played by Elite Smash. So close to victory. And gets it. We're going to game three. Bodison, you are out of control. Oh my goodness! We're not used to seeing that kind of aggression out of Mr. Mallet! Holy cow! Get off this! Look, it's a penguin, it's ice, it's his natural habitat, and most importantly, the... Come on. Oh dear, this isn't... This is embarrassing. And the winner is Dreamy J's Mr. Mallet! Representing Fernando, do 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 Dr. Amigo versus Lady Cuckoo's Loki. Whiffed. Can he make it back? Nope. Great gimp. Great gimp out of Loki there. He's going for these. He is keeping Dr. Mario where he wants him. 
And that's it. Jeez, game one. That's a pretty decided advantage. I did not expect it to be that, that high. Jeez, another great gimp from Loki. He doesn't have good recovery, so he has to get kills fast. Oh, is that enough? It is! Oh my goodness! Jeez! Well, that was a very fast ending to today, I'd have to say. That rhymed. And the winner is Lady Cuckoo's Loki! Mm. Let me tell you. Diet Dr. Pepper. It tastes better from a green screen mug. Do you know what else tastes better? Diet Dr. Pepper winning. Mm. See the tie-in? He does it so smoothly. How on earth is he just not worldwide famous? Yes, Diet Dr. Pepper's finally off the schneid, but she has a lot of work to do to climb up that hole she's dug herself in. But, alas, what are you going to do? There ain't no mountain high enough. I don't know. I'm sure you came here to sing. All I know is that I'm looking forward to seeing what happens next week because with the first, uh, first three matches in, we are now officially at the part where... We can say we kind of know what some of these amiibo are and they need to overcome some of their defects or they need to be able to to just keep on holding on to what they got and just plow their way to the playoffs. Either way, I want to thank all our producers who came here. And hey, if you enjoy these things, consider joining us live on twitch.tv slash splicestream where we are streaming amiibo Monday through Wednesday from 4 p.m. Pacific, uh, 7 p.m. Eastern. That's when we start. So... Until next time, if you all will just stay fit, keep sharp, make good decisions. Splice, out.